guys so you know what time it is when i pull out this blue bin it is empties time i have gone through a whole other set of products that i want to show you i love empties videos and you guys typically like to see these videos from me so i wanted to share my latest Full basket of beautiful garbage <laughs> with you guys and I hope you guys enjoy the video I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into my empties guys so I have gone through a lot of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and the first thing I see is the Carol's Daughter Vanilla Petals body cleansing cream this was a really good cleanser it smelled really great and I got it for like $5.99 at TJ Maxx, so that's always great. Eight fluid ounces, it was really good. It lasted a while and it lathered really nicely and again, it smelled really good. I don't know if I repurchased it because I know if I would find it again at TJ Maxx, but if I saw this product at TJ Maxx again, I'd pick it up because it was only $6 and it did smell really great and it did a really good job at cleansing. So um, that's the first empty. The next empty is uh, the Origins Modern Friction uh, Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion. I finally went through this whole huge thing. It took me forever to finish this. And this was a really, really good exfoliator. It was, it's an exfoliator that's suspended in a cream, so it's not too harsh, but it had a lot of, um, this particular product has a lot of fruit acids in it. And if you know anything about fruit acids, they're really, really exfoliating. Uh, to your skin they're like a chemical exfoliant so this was really good and I kept this in the shower and I would use this maybe every other night and sometimes every night to exfoliate my skin really gently and it worked really great and it was 4.2 ounces and it lasted forever because you only need about a pea sized amount and me even using it as often as I, as I used it it lasted like over eight months or something like that so this was a really good purchase and again it was the origins modern friction and I love ah, <laughs> I love this product um, I don't know if I'll go get another one because I have so many products to get through but once I finish a lot of my skincare maybe I'll go and repurchase it all right guys as always there is a makeup uh, removing wipes in here and these are the cream shop collagen cleansing towelettes me and my roommates we use these to take off our makeup so I always uh, go through these and these will always be in my empties and they're really really good I love these um, these wipes they're no they're only two dollars for 30 wipes so definitely beats like the Neutrogena wipes and the yes to carrots um, and I really really like it next product is the Kiehl's magic elixir and this was a hair and scalp oil it has rosemary avocado oils it was really really great it's almost like a pre shampoo treatment that's kind of how they describe it and how to use it and I went through it it was really really good actually um, went through two of these the second one um, I'm almost finished with so this was the first one and it's really good uh, if you don't have the time to mix your own oils or make your own hot oil treatment this is a really really good product to look into again it's the kills magic elixir this next ginormous product is the Tresemme uh, touchable softness conditioner all of these really loose uh, conditioners I use these to comb out my hair and detangle in the shower and they work wonderfully I love the really large ones with the salon pump so that you know you're not you know smooth, uh, dropping it or it's not slipping all over the place in the shower <laughs> So I really, really like it, and it has a lot of slip to it, so my hair gets really easily detangled uh, with these Tresemme conditioners. The next product doesn't have a label, but I know exactly what it was. It was the Kills Argan Oil, um, dry, dry oil, and it was amazing. Wait, I have a tiny bit left. So this product was really, really great. Um, I use it on my body. You could use it in your hair as well, but this is a product that I use on my body over top of my Kiehl's Creme de Decor Lotion, and it's a really, really great oil. It really helps to seal in moisture and give you a really nice, healthy glow to your skin, and it was a really good product, and it's gown now. It's pretty expensive, so I don't know if I will repurchase it because I really um, I recently just bought some jojoba oil and that works just fine. 
The next product, I'm so sad it's gone, is the Revel & Revel Warm Vanilla Sugar Brown Sugar Body Polish. I got this in a BoxyCharm box, if I'm not mistaken, and it was the best body scrub ever. It had oils in it, so it moisturized your skin, but it was really gritty, so it got you really exfoliated, and it was really good. And um, I don't really, do I have, I think I'm going through another body scrub right now, but after that, I think I might go ahead and try to find this online and purchase it because by far it's probably one of the best body exfoliators that I've used ever. So that's what that looks like. This item is super duper dusty because this is my face powder that I currently use. As you can see, it's all gone. That's the pan there. What happened was, and that ha this happens with other powders too, but I got down to the pan and a lot of the pan was showing and it was just a little bit of powder around the edges. So I decided to put this in my purse and buy another powder and keep this as a touch up powder. So I repurchased it and that's in my makeup bag. But I decided to keep the one that was really low in my purse and maybe use the touch up with because it was really hard to kind of get into and use all over my face. So I, said, I could touch up with this. So I put this in my purse. And oh my god, it crumbled and went all over everything. And I forgot that with these really like fine uh, powders, they tend to crumble when they get to the pan. So I was just so upset. It went all over everything in my purse. <sighs> but I won't be doing that again. But this is my favorite face powder currently. It's the Laura Mercier um, Smooth Finish Powder, a really good foundation powder. I use it as a setting powder, but you can totally use it as a full coverage foundation. Um, but I love it, but this one is like gross and I can't wait to throw it out and recycle it. Products is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, totally gone, love this product. This was the one ounce product, a uh, one ounce bottle. They do have a 1.7 ounce. I think once I'm done with my uh, Lancome Visionaire, that's the current serum that I'm using, I might repurchase this because it was really excellent and it's really good. You, Everybody knows about this serum. I think everyone and their mama uses this. This is like 30 plus years old and it's there's a reason why it's still one of the number one serums. It's really good. The next thing I have here is the Estee Lauder Take It Away. This is a eye and lip, gentle eye and lip long wear makeup remover. It was really good. It's the one you shake up and I didn't really have any complaints about it. Um, would I repurchase it? Probably. If I'm running out of eye makeup remover and I, you know, this is, I buy it as the water counter, I'll, I'll buy it. There was nothing wrong with it. It wasn't like, oh my God, it's excellent. It, it worked just fine. And I liked it. So that's what that looks like. It's just like the Lancome Bifacil, just like the Clinique Take the Day Off, all, you know, the same type of product. A deep conditioner, which is a Kiehl's Olive Fruit Oil Deeply Reparative Hair Pack. One of my favorite, Holy Grail. Hair conditioners, I love this product, especially when I am going to be heat styling my hair. It doesn't leave a film on my hair, and it is really great for my dry hair. So, I love these products, and it's gone. And I think this is my second one, and I don't think, because usually I buy backups of these, I don't think I have any more of this. So, I'm going to go have to, I'm going to go and have to repurchase it, because this is a deep conditioner that I keep in rotation. Then I have a couple of masks in here, and I used two of the Chantecai. I'll show what that looks like. It's all disgusting, but these are clay masks, and this is Chantecai uh, Detox Clay Mask with Rosemary and Honey. And this is a mask for your face and your neck, and it really, really works at detoxifying your skin. When you take it off, your skin is like really glowing. It's basically a clay mask. It's really, really good, and Chantecai is a really nice line that you can find at Neiman Marcus, it's a botanical baseline, really good products, and these were two sample uh, face masks that I used, and I really love this product. I have so many of these samples, though, that I don't think I'll ever have to purchase the actual product. Um, the next thing I have here is the uh, Curls Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. Went through one of those, love this for the edges. Um, this is what I use to slick down my edges whenever I'm doing a style where I'm putting my hair up. This is what I'm going to be using to slick down the edges. Really, really good product and I already have another one repurchased and opened and going through that one too. Alright, the next thing here is the Ozzy Moist 3 Minute Miracle. Love this stuff. This I really don't use as a deep conditioner. I keep this in my shower and I use this 
before a conditioner. I'll put it in my hair. Sometimes when my hair is being like extra, like tangly or it's just like extra dry. This is just a product I like to add into my regimen because it really does help to give my hair a great slip and moisture. So I don't technically use it as a deep conditioner or conditioner. I kind of use it as an extra step when my hair is being really unruly. So love this. Already have another one repurchased. You guys know this product is amazing. Okay, so the next thing. The next thing here is an eyebrow pencil. You guys know I basically eat eyebrow pencils. I go through them so fast. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, the new uh, Stay In Place Brow Lift Duo. Um, I already, I'm going through the second one because I purchased two of these if you watched my haul a little while, uh, ways back and I purchased two. I'm going through my second one, but I have already repurchased some eyebrow pencils, so I am good. This um, is a really good eyebrow pencil though. The next thing I have here is the cotton squares that I bought from my trip um, when I went to New York. Um, and I got these at a, like an Asian beauty supply store and they were really great. They're dupes for the Shiseido and Clay de Poe cottons. Um, really, really good product, only $5. Um, I might have my cousin send me some more. Um, or when I go to New York for my family vacation, I might just go ahead and pick up a bunch of packs of these because I really, really like them. Now I went through my favorite mascara. You guys know this is my favorite, the Guerlain Maxi Lash. It's in this gold packaging. They currently came out with a waterproof version, which is in a silver packaging, but this is the original formula, and I'm already on another tube. I love this mascara. It just works with my lashes. Then I went through a foundation, which is the Pore Finding Solutions um, Instant Perfecting Makeup by Clinique. I was trying to just use up this foundation and I discovered how much I really love it. So now I'm going to like repurchase it, but I still have a lot of foundations to get through. So I'll get through those and then I'll probably put this on the list of items to repurchase because this is a really good foundation. It's not the most long wearing, but it like for an everyday foundation, it's really nice because it's really light. It looks like a skin and it really helps to camouflage pores. So a really nice foundation. And then the last thing I have in here is another little mask. And this is a little um, sample mask of the Sicily uh, Radiant Glow Express Mask with cleansing, um, with cleansing red clay. It's the one in the pink. This is a, another botanical line, a French line that's really known for their skincare. Sicily you can find in, I believe, Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus. Really good line, a very expensive line, so I really don't own a lot from this line, but I do like their masks, and this is one of the samples that I have. I'm trying to decide which mask I want because they have this new tropical resin mask that I like, so it's between this one and that one. I don't know which one I want to purchase, so I'm still using some of the samples to see which one I absolutely, absolutely love. But those are all of my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed. What are the products that you are going through? What are the products that you finished? And would you repurchase them? Let me know down below in the comments uh, section. And if you do empty videos, let me know so I can go head over to your channel and watch those videos because I love empties videos. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I'll put all my social media down below um, that I'm on. Follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, all those other good things, Facebook. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much.